You got it, Melty. <laughs> what you realize, though, the real thing, right, is you can never get this moment back. Mm. This is one and done. Oh. All right. I got eyes on it. Well, here we go. We're here at Penmar Golf Club, Golf Course? Golf Club. Golf Course. In Venice, California. And today, our guests, Pierce and Andy. Hello. What's up, guys? Eric, how's it going? Good yeah, to, meet to meet you. You, you good? Guys. Yeah, I'm good. Eric, how's it going, guys? How you doing? You good? You guys want to eat some breakfast? Yep. Let's do Perfect. It. Let's do it. Cool. Well, you, added, you might have some things to add for I'm not even sure. Right no. <laughs> no, honestly, you guys are absolutely my favorite. So subscribe you guys. Oh, good. Thank time. you. Jeremy, thank you. Appreciate it. Cheers, Jeremy. Yeah, you play well. There you go. What is that like? That's like one fan. That's, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> 499,000 bots, one guy. What is, that? what is that like? You see a guy come oh, up and he's just that's, that's, that's the best part. That's the best part of the job. It seriously is. Because ultimately, when we first started playing golf, we never wanted to really play. We probably just realized we weren't good enough early enough. But we always wanted to coach, we enjoyed coaching, and then we got to a point where we were coaching a lot, a lot of people, and then thought, well, how can we coach more people? Tony Robbins, you know Tony Robbins? He was like, look, in order to be the most successful, you need to figure out how to help the most amount of people. That's all you gotta do. And it's kind of like, that's your business model. Is it's like, instead of just doing, I'm gonna do lessons on the range, it's like, no, I'm gonna help everybody get better at golf. And you probably do get a lot of messages from people saying, my best round, thank you, whatever, hole in one. We were having a chat on the way over here and we were just talking about, because there's so many different Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and you know, it's easy to get a little lost and we're like, we're always thinking, how can we get better? How can we do more? And we're like, look, we've, all we've got to do is continue to give people value and just, just help them out. And if we continue to help them out, then that's that's really, you know, I suppose where the success comes from. But that, that's our mindset. How can we do it? How can we be better? And how can we continue just to help people? Penmar is apparently known for their pancakes. I've never had them. So we are diving into some public golf pancakes. Apparently the secret is a little bit of banana and what else? Vanilla. <laughs> this is America, guys. Me and my golf pancakes. There we go. That's your new merch. Me and my golf pancakes. <laughs> Big moment here. Someone's first round of golf ever. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, I'm Eric. Craig. Craig, nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Andrew. Andrew, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Alex. Hey, Alex. Yeah. I'm Craig, Andrew, and Alex. This is not only someone's birthday. Craig's birthday. It's your birthday. It's Monday. But what else is it? It's my first time golfing. Yeah, I almost want to cry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Seriously. I've been feeling lately that it's time to start golfing, you know, getting up there in years. By the time I'm in my 40s, 50s, I need something to do. Yeah. You know, I'll have a family at some point that I'll need to escape from. <laughs> you've swung a golf club before? Yeah, I've gone to driving ranges. But you've never been on a first tee? No, and I'm a little intimidated kind of looking at it. <laughs> Looks pretty far. Do you do you think he realizes how big of a deal this is? No, he has no idea. Maybe now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I mean, does everyone get filmed when they do it for the first time? <laughs> no, that's just you. Okay. That's just you. <laughs> I told one of my girlfriend's dads, who loved Hitchcock, I admitted to him that I hadn't seen a Hitchcock movie. And he goes, I'm so happy for you. And I was like, why? And he's like, because you get to experience it all for the first time. Right. I, I'm jealous. Because experiencing it all the first time, and even walking up the first team being nervous, yeah. your first birdie is going to be such a crazy experience. That probably won't be today, though. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be this year. <laughs> what is it that you're, what, what are you looking for today? What, what would be ideal? I just want to hear a good sound when I swing the club a couple times. So, dude, Craig, man, happy birthday. This Thank you for having a great round. Appreciate I really it. appreciate your uh, talking to us. <laughs> How are you not going to bell air bag on round one? Not bad. Okay, what? okay. Catch a little piece. Catch a little piece. Yeah. Under promise, over deliver. It's the way to be. All right, we'll catch up with you in a Welcome to the Eric Anders Lang Show, everybody. Very excited for our 
two guests today. This is, we haven't had many uh, episodes with three. Who's it's good. That? It's good, right? It's good, yeah. We can have a good conversation, hopefully. I mean, I tell you, when we met this guy, Craig, at the Penmar, who was about to play his first round ever, like, I was getting a little emotional. Yeah, yeah. Because I was like, Amazing. dudes, do you, I mean, do you remember your first round? Maybe. Ooh. It wasn't like Penmar. That. <laughs> well, that's the great thing yeah. about that, though, isn't it? His first experience of golf is going to be totally different to our first experience of golf. Yeah. He's going to see these guys drinking beers, playing barefoots, and it's like, oh, this is actually quite good fun. Yeah. yeah. Whereas it definitely wasn't that, like that for me when I was no, no. 13, 14 years old. I had to go for an interview. To Do you use okay. push carts often? Is this, or is this we don't new? play golf anymore. It's more like me and your golf. There we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go to the tee box now, All right. so I know who's there. We're going to the tee box. I have the Lang and Mary Hooper. All right, so we were teeing off, and the starter, as a starter should be, they're yeah. they're they're quite ornery, and he goes, and he goes, everyone off the tee if you're not playing or something like that. <laughs> and but I know that at public courses you're allowed to bring a caddy. Okay. There so we, go. we went back, and I was like, can he caddy for me? And the starter was like, very begrudging, like a deer oh, in the water. headlights. <laughs> he was like, yes, he can caddy for you. I was like, great, so we're taking three caddies. And he's like, <laughs> How often do you play courses like this, Chris? Would you know, we probably play about 12 times a year now. No. Really, seriously. We don't play anything at all. We only play like four or five holes at a time as well. It's bad. It's not bad because we love what we do, but playing courses like this, I'll tell you what, these are the courses you grow up on, aren't they, really? So what kind of golf courses did you guys start playing on when you were when you were no, young? So we started on something similar to this, a golf club called Oxley Park. And I was 13 when I uh, joined the golf club, and uh, this guy was working in the golf shop. <laughs> Wait, and he no was, way, he was a lot really? Older than me, obviously. <laughs> um, he was working then, and then we played junior golf together. Sort of, uh, for, uh, yeah, quite a few years. That's wait, that's wait. Tell me, how did you guys meet? I need this, I need every detail. That's so cool. So basically, what happened is I was, I Pierce was a bit older than me, and I was like 14, and um, I, I'd obviously told my parents that I'd gone, I'd slept at Pierce's house for the night, but I hadn't. I'd gone to a party somewhere, and then my mom worked in the post office. Pierce went into the post office and said to Pierce, oh, thanks for looking after Andy the other night. You know, that was really kind of you. And Pierce was like, uh, uh, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. But he didn't have a clue what he was talking about. He obviously knew that I was lying, so. You didn't tell him that he was involved in your lie? She, <laughs> she doesn't know though. My mom still doesn't know to the, to the day. <laughs> so the only person who can't watch this video is your mom? It's my mom. He turned pro first, then I turned pro. And then we're like, we need to do something together. We need to have an academy together and coach. And then we did that. And then, yeah, the rest is history. Um, Thank you. Okay, so uh, Mary Lou, can, do you want to come say hi? Yeah, yeah. Mary Lou is our, our fourth member of the foursome. So we booked a 1257 tea time with me, Pierce, and Andy. And we had no idea we'd be playing with you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I am local. I'm here from Canada, but I live out here in California now, and this is my home course. That's great. So, and it's fabulous. It's the most played course in all of L.A. for a little nine hole, if I, you didn't know that. I didn't realize that. So this is the busiest course in Los Angeles, yes. and we're here on a Saturday at noon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right have you guys seen ace cam at all ace cam no so it's par three we basically are okay. recording just in case you get a hole in one okay so how many hole in ones have you guys had okay so you got first about three zero no <laughs> so this is this is time yeah this is our time to do it have you had a hole in one mary lou i have had a hole in one well how many one one where was it right here Part what? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's never happened on Ace Cam. <laughs> I mean, it's looking really oh, good. It's gonna get left. So bad.
Craig's first round of golf is almost over. That's not a bad touch. Oh, oh it wasn't. That wasn't a bad, bad putt, really. It was a good putt. Two feet past. They're gonna. They're gonna. Yeah, trick shot in now. There, there, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey. yeah. You know, a couple eagles, a couple birdies. Yeah, hey. <laughs> actually had no. a couple par putts, yeah, which really was pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I had a putt for par. Uh, You said one of the things you were looking for was like just you wanted it to feel good, the sweet spot or something. Oh did, did yeah. Did you get that? I, you know, I, I, a couple shots, uh, yeah, they, a couple shots felt good. Yeah. I had a, I had a true bogey, and yeah. the second shot on that felt nice. I, it was a, nothing got too high. It was a low shot, yeah. but it, it set up like a par putt that I missed. But you know, that's great. You know, I've been playing golf for eight years, and I've invested hours and. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. And all I had today was true bogeys. So yeah. Welcome. <laughs>